If a very important um, aspect of meandering rivers are the floodplain deposits. So when you have a, a river channel here, and there's a normal water level in here, all of the sediment transport that's happening uh, associated with the rivers within the channel, and you often have plants in post-Devonian world, right? So you have plants growing on the outside. So here's some trees or bushes and things like that. And so a lot of times the floodplains have soil development uh, between uh, river floods. But through time, sediment accumulates in the river channels, right? and there's erosion here, but almost all rivers are subject to floods. And when the water level goes up, there, there are two things that happen. One of which is that the amount of, of the cross-sectional area that the water is flowing through expands dramatically. And, and that allows the water and causes the water to slow down. There's more friction with the bottom and um, there's a much broader flow. So the same amount of water flows through a given area uh, with, at a much slower rate because the, the area, the cross-sectional area is much larger. Okay. So when the river goes from being confined to within the channel to exceeding the channel bank, there's a sudden slowdown in the flow speed. So U uh, decreases rapidly. Uh, and we know that when the flow speed decreases, that uh, causes deposition. And that deposition creates a natural levee on the side of the, of the river. So that produces a levee which is the, the high, a high uh, of deposited by the sediment just, just outside the river channel. And because the deposition rate is so fast, there's not very much erosion on the upstream side of the bed forms, and so you often get uh, climbing ripples. And usually that grain size is, is uh, relatively low because most of the course of sediment, even in a flood time, is going to be confined to the channel. Um, and so usually this, you have, say, uh, medium sand uh, near the channel. And because the flow speed is going, uh, slowing down the further you get away, uh, it'll fine away from the channel. And eventually the water ponds and that actually uh, leaves a lot of mud behind, which is one of the problems uh, when you end up with floods uh, in towns is that they, the floods can bring in a huge amount of mud. So the signature of a, of a flood deposit would be, um, for example, a soil with uh, sand deposited on top of it that binds up with to mud, and then you redevelop the, the plant communities and the soil formation uh, processes.